Teams got one of the biggest interface updates that we have seen to date. Some people are going to love the simplified workflow and others are going to resist the change. After we look at the changes together, you'll have to tell me in the comments, which one are you? Microsoft created a new chat, teams, and channel experience that puts all of your conversations under one button called chat on the left-hand navigation menu. By default, favorites will be at the top of the navigation pane, then chat and teams and channels, but they don't have to stay this way. You can reorder the sections. To do that, left click and hold the mouse over the section that should be moved, then drag and drop into your preferred order. The customization does not stop there though. In the classic interface, you could pin chats and team channels to the top of their respective panes. This is now the favorite section. When I switched over, I only had a few chats pinned, which you can see in the favorites section. I can add individual channels to the favorites section too. For example, I spend a lot of time in the Teams Mastery AMA channel. To move it to the favorites section, hover over the channel name and click the three dots. Select Show In and then select Favorites. This is one way to gather all of the chats and channels where you do most of your work. I know that some people find putting chats and channels in one favorite section is less than ideal and would prefer to group their content based on criteria they choose. The new experience gives you that flexibility. I want to draw your attention to the toolbar at the top of the pane where you have more list options, filter search, new message, and new items. Let's click on the new items dropdown. Here you have several options. At the bottom of the menu is new section. When you click that, a floating dialog pops up where you can type in a name for your section. You're customizing the view for your teams only, so choose whatever makes sense to you. I'm going to type accounting so that I can keep track of the various channels that are talking about budgets, expense reports, etc. Now that we have our section, it's time to add some chats or channels to it. Please note that you cannot add a whole team, only channels. I'm going to add the announcements channel from the finance team by clicking the three dots, selecting show in, and choosing the newly created accounting section. Repeat all the steps until you have added all the channels that you want in this new section. Now that we have a few sections, I have to scroll a lot to find what I'm looking for. One way you can minimize the scroll is to collapse the sections. You can do this by clicking the dropdown next to each section, or you can use the fast option and click the three dots in the toolbar at the top of the pane and choose to collapse all sections. When you hover your mouse over a section, you will see an arrow opening it up again. If you don't like the collapse view, another way to quickly find what you're looking for is filters. Notice on the second row of the pane, there are pre-formatted filter buttons for unread, unmute, chat, and meeting chats. You can also click the magnifying glass icon in the pane to filter by name or group name. Now that you have grouped your information together, I want to show you another customization option. If you hover your mouse over the title for each section to see the three dots for more options, you will see the sort options. For favorites, the options are custom, most recent, or unread only. Custom means that you can drag and drop the items into any order that you like. While we are on this menu, notice you can also rename or remove this section if you like. Now let's look at chats. The options are most recent or unread. Just like it was before, the chats will appear in the most recent order by default and you cannot custom order the list. For teams and channels, there are display options. The default is the classic teams and channel view, but you can switch to see channels only. This no longer groups channels by teams. It is just a list of channels. The order will change based on recent activity by default. That can be changed to unread or A to Z. 
The complaint I hear about this view is it can be hard to tell which channel goes with what team, especially if people use the same generic channel names across multiple teams. For example, I have two channels called AMA about Microsoft Teams, but notice the team icons are different. This can help you know which team it is if you're using icons. The other option is to hover the mouse over the channel icon and a pop-up box will appear with the name of the team below the channel name. Once you find the correct channel, you can start creating messages like you normally would. Okay, we have looked at several options to organize your chat and team messages, but some of you may still prefer the classic view where they are separated onto two panes. To change it back, go to the three dots for more list options at the top of the pane, click Customize View. This will take you to the chat and channel section of the team settings. At the top, there are two view options, Combine and Separate. Click Separate. You may see a dialog box asking you why you are switching back. If you don't want to answer, just click Cancel. Notice in the left navigation menu, the Teams button is back. But here's the cool thing. You still have the options to add sections and switch to the channels only display. I have to admit, when this first came out, I was in the I don't like this camp and switched back to the classic view right away. But once I started testing things out, the new view has grown on me. Tell me in the comments below, do you like the combined view or the separate view?